Using De Morgan's theorems, simplify the following example. The question is, where are you supposed to start solving this problem? You have to always look at the whole expression and try to find the biggest terms, right, which are joined together in this whole function. Simply look at the brackets first, okay? So if these brackets are NAND with these brackets. So it means I have two big terms joined together by NAND. That's why I'm going to break my bar at this point. This is the very first step which I have to do. So let me rewrite and I'm going to have A B naught or C naught D or D Okay, this is my first term this end has to be changed to OR and I have A or C note D note with the bar. Now, again, the question is what am I supposed to do next? Look at the very first brackets. Whatever I have inside of the parentheses is going to be recognized as a one term. D is going to be recognized as an other term. That's why I have to cut my bar at this moment, at this point. Now, if you are going to look at the second brackets, you will see again you have parentheses, so whatever is inside of the parentheses is going to be recognized as a first term and D naught is going to be my second term that's why I have to cut my bar just between these two terms let me rewrite this problem one more time that's why I'm going to have A B naught or C naught D bar. Now, OR has to be changed to the END. That's why I'm going to have D not over here. Close the brackets. OR. And in this case, I'm going to have A or C not with the bar OR with D not not. Remember, anytime we have variables, variables inverted twice, these two inversions are going to cancel each other. Now, let's take a look what we have inside of these parentheses. We have two terms, we have two end gates, right? And we have bar above or. That's why I'm going to cancel or I suppose to say cut this bar at this point. Why? Because I recognize this end as a one term and this end as a second term. Let me rewrite this expression one more time and I'm going to have A B not not OR has to be changed to the multiplication, that's why I'm going to have C not D bar. And everything, whatever was inside of the parentheses, has to be multiplied by D not. I'm supposed to say end it with D not. Now, let's do second brackets. And I have this bar. This bar has to be cut at this point. Right? So that's why I'm going to have A 
not and c not not or d close bracket next i have to cut this bar at this point and this bar at this point so that's why i'm going to have something like this i'm going to have a not or b not not close parenthesis and i'm going to have c not not or d not and everything has to be multiplied by d not or I'm going to have A not end it with C because these two bars are going to cancel each other or with D. Let's continue. Remember that anytime we have variable inverted twice, this is going to give me exactly the same variable that's why I'm going to cancel these two bars and I'm going to cancel also these two bars let me rewrite this expression one more time and I'm going to have a not or b and I have c or d not close parenthesis and I have d not. Or I can ignore the brackets and I have A not C or D. I suppose to also ignore these brackets because I have the product product of these three terms. So basically we're supposed to just ignore these two brackets also okay now take a look we have d naught and we have d we have complements anytime complements odd together and if one of them is ended with something else in this case we have with these parentheses okay that complement can be dropped out so that's why i'm going to drop out d naught Next, I'm going to simply multiply these parentheses by these parentheses. So I'm going to multiply A naught by C and A naught by D naught and B by C and B by D. That's why I'm going to get, okay, I'm going to continue over here. I'm going to have A naught C or A not D not or B C or B D not or A not C or D. Okay, let's take a look what we can simplify or what we can reduce over here. Now, please notice that I have A naught C. I have A naught C. One of them can be dropped out. That's why my expression right now is going to look like A naught C or A naught D naught or B C or B D naught or D. Also, please notice that we have D and I have D naught and I have also over here D naught. 
That's why I can, I can use complement absorption theorem and cancel out this D naught and this D naught. So that's why I'm going to have A naught C or A naught or B C or B or D. Now, because I have A naught and A naught, I can factorize A naught and I'm going to have C or 1 and I can factorize B and I'm going to have C or 1 or D. Any variable or with 1 or anything or with 1 is going to give me always 1. That's why I'm going to have A naught times 1 or B times 1 or D. A naught times 1, I suppose to say A naught and 1 is A naught or B and 1 gives me B and I have to copy down or D. This is the solution for this problem.